What's up guys, it's gonna be beats. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some dark vintage loops. With that being said, let's get into the question of the day, which is, in your opinion, what year or era had the best music? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Let's hop into the video. Let's go ahead and get started with our melody here. So we got a few sounds, just like some bells. Okay, um, so we're gonna start with our bass because I think that'll be easier to build from. So let's just grab in a, um, let's do a B minor. Let's use a minor for this. You don't have to use one, but it'll be a lot easier to get kind of that dark or sad vibe. Um, so we're gonna be using our bass here, okay? And you can use any bass. It doesn't have to be something like mine. It can be any bass. Um, what we're gonna do is just make a simple bass line. So we're gonna start on our, our root here. And I'm gonna drag this out. I don't want a super repetitive melody. I want to drag this out. So I'm gonna drag it out like this. And then what we're gonna do is copy this. All right, and you can do this on any scale. You can go up seven or down five. It's up to you. So you can go up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you can transpose it. Or you could just go down five from there. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, it, it works both ways. All right, and then you could start doing a plus one. A plus one is just moving the note up, or you could uh, make a chord from this, right? And if you wanna add some other notes, which I'll probably just add these at the end. We don't gotta spend too much time here. And then we can put, let's maybe try to see. I guess any one would work. I kind of like the C sharp. So this is our bass line. All right, I like that. That's pretty smooth. Um, so now what we can do is move on to building a melody from this. Now we're moving on to our next instrument. So we have our B to F sharp. Okay, and these are in harmony. Okay, so everything in between we can use. So we're gonna use that kind of method to our advantage. So I'm gonna take these two and i think we can use this one so we're going to use this all right um i wonder if we can just uh we're gonna have to go in here let's copy it down shift d put this up and then pretty much just use the notes in between that we have and i kind of want to pull these out a bit and you see it's already coming together. You just kind of kind of build what you like. Um, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna kind of flip these. So I'm gonna take this, pull this up, just so we can brighten it. And let's add like, we can remove that. And then maybe let's do like something simple at the back. Make sure you can see this. Make sure you can see the notes. And I think this is good. I think there's a little too much reverb on this sound. I might have to edit that later, but let's pull this up. I think that's pretty smooth just for a simple melody to get started and then we can build on top of it, right? It doesn't always have to be crazy, a bunch of notes. So this is our melody. I'll, I'll play it from here. Okay, I like that. Let's go ahead and move on to a new sound. Next up, we're gonna throw this little synth in, okay? So with this, I'm gonna mute this and just play the bass so we can kind of hear it clearly because I don't want it to all get kind of meshed together. Um, so we want this to be fairly dark. I don't want this to get too like bright. So I'm gonna use all these little half steps here and we're just gonna kind of play around with some melodies here. And since this is like a long synth with a lot of tail, um, let's, let's first listen. Can switch it up at the end maybe 
you could put way more time into this i'm just kind of showing you just an easy way to do it let's listen no time back with everything Okay, I think that's pretty smooth. So now we can use our last instrument, which is just another bell, all right? Lastly, we have our bell, all right? Um, so I'll just muted everything else except these two because I don't want them to clash. So I wanna make them together. I'm just kind of solo these together, all right? So let's go in here. Well, matter of fact, here, let me, let me just break this down. So everything we've done, literally every single note we put down, it has been one chord, okay? So if we take this, and we make our chord, so this is a B minor. If we do something like, oh wait, if we do this, let me drag this out. And then you fill in the blanks because every note in between will usually work as well, okay? This has been the same everywhere, All right? If I copy this on the other side, it'll look the exact same. We have not used any other chord. This is all we've done the entire video, right? So we're not gonna uh, mix it up. We're gonna keep it just like that. So I'm just showing you that to show you how easy it really is. Uh, so let's do it here. And we're just gonna pretty much make the chord. We can do a few. Um, and you can copy some notes up if you want. Um, you know, even if you wanna throw a note up, throw a note down. In our case, we want it to be a little dark. So I would probably pull this one down instead of up. And it's that easy, right? And now you just kind of strum it. You could do it manually. I like doing it manually, so I'll highlight this, hold shift, and just pull it back a few ticks. And I'll just do that with every one. Um, and then we'll probably actually pull this one back. Perfect, right? You, you could just leave it there, right? You can mess with the velocity if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that. And then over here, I'm gonna mess with this just slightly. And then we could throw some other notes in. So maybe we can fill this in. And the reason I'm choosing these notes is because they work down here. So if they work down here, they'll work up here. And that's pretty much kind of thought process there. Um, let's maybe do like a... Let's copy it over. I think that's pretty good. I think we're done here. We could just play everything together. Of course, we probably need to pull this down a bit. All right, so let's play everything all together. And I'll just go through all the sounds as we play it. All right, and that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.